Hello, good evening. Um, I have this uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Thanos by Hot Toys figure. I've had this for a while as well. Uh, I decided to make a video of it because I'm planning to sell this one uh, because I already have the Endgame Thanos and which is quite larger than this one and so I decided to just make a video of this before I decide to sell. I haven't really sold anything. This might be the first one. Um, I need to make space as well. So this is the box of the Guardians of the Galaxy Thales. And in it, uh, well my kid wants to be in this video as well but um, he is having his snack while Wait, you're having your snack? Yeah. While I'm making this video. I'm making. Uh, I'm just going in the box. So this is the box of the Thanos Guardians of the Galaxy version. This one is quite smaller than the engine Thanos that they said. So there we go. That's the art box. So I'll show you what is inside the box. It's quite big. Um, even though Thanos is not that big, the re main reason why the box is so big is because of this stand. Um, I damaged the stand a few weeks ago. I'll show you a closer video of what I meant by damaging it but I think I'll end up selling this at a lower price just because of a very minor damage anyway uh, not on the figure but on the stand um, anyway this is the figure so as you can see this is Thanos sitting on the throne with a clear tube to make it look like he's floating on the air and this base is Oh, no, not the base. Uh, this part here should have some illumination. And there's a switch here. You can put batteries on it to illuminate the throne. So that's him. Uh, the damage I made is on this tube. It broke. So I attached it with tape. So, but if you display this figure on the stand doesn't even show that there's a damage um but we'll see um if nobody will buy it it's okay as well anyway this is garden of the galaxy okay so okay so here is thanos this noise on the background is just my son eating his snack so this thanos like i said uh this is his throne it looks like it's floating in the air because of the transparent tube on the front and the back and um, also a transparent here this one for the armrest um, it, it is just collecting dust downstairs so uh, nothing much on this one I guess I have to disassemble this because I'm trying to put this away anyway so underneath this where the foot thrust is are a bunch of LED so you can turn this on I never placed batteries in it so I never even tried to activate this this is where you put the battery in okay so yeah it's highly detailed plastic but highly detailed with uh, it looks like a rock so that's a throne and this is a tube connector there's not much accessories except for this throne and so this is the part where i said that i damage it so if you look at it it doesn't really look that it's damaged but when you lift this up there we go that green part is i just attach them together with you know um super glue and then place a tape on it to keep it together so aside from that there's no other damage so that's a tube for the back and this is the throne 
also highly detailed and you can also put batteries in this one and this should illuminate as well and also here see daddy put batteries in my daddy yes why you want the raspberry i know why you want the raspberry daddy go ahead and eat it <gasps> so it? that's my son in the background like i said i'm just sorry he just wants to be in the video he has not been in one in a long time so this is the base just Thanos Guardians of the Galaxy and nothing else this was coming apart a bit so I just super glued it okay and aside from that nothing else except for an extra pair of hands closed fist and this is a closer picture. The problem with this Thanos, if you look at it, um, um. the joints are good, but if you can hear it, it's like um, one of those ratcheting things. And they didn't really do a good job unlike the endgame Thanos which is like a seamless body this is more of a plastic with very clearly visible joints there we go but the details are there well this was before you know the head scalp is not that great so okay the end game version is really really good um so it also comes with two of these ones so as you can see is the other um what do you call this uh part of his armor uh front cover or something so this one is bent so that when you see them in the on the throne then you know you don't have to damage this plastic or this rubber so they give you the option of this one um so i guess all you need to do is pull this apart yeah haven't done this in a long time but uh, like i said i'm gonna put it away as you can see there we go and then you want to display him standing up and this will be much better peace to use and there we go so if you stand him up using this other piece it's way better to look at so with that other piece attached as you can see it's seamless it's ah it's not that menacing looking there's no other um head sculpt just this but like i said um i don't see a point of having two thanases and there we go that's thanos from guardians of the galaxy